Hey, what's up, universe? It's 10.32 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, October 22nd, 2023. Um, so there's a few inspirations for this video. Um, yeah, so today would have been the one-year anniversary. That's, let's just get the big one out of the way. I didn't really, you know, um, focus on that a whole lot today. Uh, my attention over the last couple of days has been on something else, but today would have been, would have been the one-year anniversary of, uh, uh, of my, my marriage to Reese. Um, the thing that is a little humorous in a way, or like, I just, it's ironic. Uh, and I, I believe that the universe has a sense of humor and I believe that the universe's sense of humor is irony. And, um, so, you know, I'm up here in the bar, like for the, there's a bar and grill just like on the other side of this, right? And it can get kind of rambunctious, especially on game day right here, the Kansas City Chiefs, whatever. Today was fairly mild, uh, but you know, they, you, you can probably hear the music. They play the game and they, they turned all over the store. So anyway, uh, I realized, because I don't pay attention to sports, uh, but I realized that um, the Chiefs were playing the Chargers today and that just kind of made me chuckle because, um, you know, not only would today be the one year anniversary, right? Uh, the Chargers, um, as I understand it, uh, Reese's first husband, um, I think, uh, enjoys the Chargers. And um, I know that last year, uh, as like a tongue in cheek kind of thing to Reese, like the way that I proposed to Reese was to give her a key to the house, right? Like um, I got a key made at Home Depot and gave that to her, asked her to marry me, um, this kind of a thing. And I got her a Kansas City Chiefs key, you know, a, a, a Kansas City Chiefs themed key. And again, I don't, I don't, you know, follow sports or anything like that. Uh, but I was like, oh, of course we're playing the Chargers today on the one year anniversary, you know? Um, so, I don't know, it's it's ironic, right? So there's that. Um, another piece uh, that's a little interesting is that I happen to check my Instagram messages uh, and I didn't have any like direct messages of people that like I'm connected with, but like, you know, there's a little, hey, some like a message request kind of a thing, right? And I'll check that every now and again. And I happened to check it and my middle sister, um, Lisa, happened to um, message me uh, two days ago, so on Friday, and I just now saw it, uh, and it was, it was actually a really nice message, she's like, I can't help but to think about you, like, you know, as things, you know, as the weather's getting colder, um, she's like, you know, I, I do love you, uh, so I was touched by that, I didn't respond, because I'm not exactly sure how to respond, uh, I'm still not sure how to respond, so if she happens to watch this, like, I'm just, uh, I'm still processing that, I guess, you know, I'm still, figuring out what to do with that. Um, I'm grateful for the message, I'll, I'll say that. I am and just not quite sure how to respond. So I'm just gonna be very honest and transparent about that. Um, and uh, uh, I, mean, I love my family too. I'll just kind of return it, you know, I love my family too. Um, so all that out of the way, uh, the biggest thing that I've been focusing on over the last like 48 hours and I've spent probably 24 hours of that time, like literally man hours, 24 man hours um, developing this. I've had a couple people hit me up on these different groups that I'm a part of about like, hey, like your revocation of election, like do you have like templates, you know, like this kind of a thing. And um, I do have a template that I used and I created a template, like a few different Word documents and things like this. And I was, I've been hesitant. I haven't shared it out with anybody because like, I've had my reasons, like, this is the kind of thing where um, people should kind of do their own research, get into, like, their own, you know, on their own two feet with it, that kind of a thing, and um, I just kind of felt like, I just wasn't sure, you know, about giving people a template. Even though I had created it with the intention of giving it to people, I still have been withholding it because I just wasn't sure, right? So... That's not what I've been working on. What I've been working on is I was like, okay, look, instead of giving people a document, because I started to do that, I started to go ahead and like update my template because there was actually a lot of, there was actually a lot of like little things inside the template that I didn't note down or like kind of like highlight for people to be like, hey, you should change this as you go through and do it. 
Uh, so then I was like, you know what, screw this. Like, this is actually kind of tedious to like give people a document. They'd have like a hundred different things that they would need to change. Um, so I put, I put it into an app. Uh, I wrote a Python script and I basically have this app where you fill out, I don't know, I'm using 18, I don't know if that's really the, the number of fields, but you fill out, you know, a couple handfuls of fields, you know, and that kind of a thing. Um, things like your name, your mailing address, like, you know, where do you, like, I call it sojourning, you know, where do you sojourn rather than like, where do you live or where do you have a residence, you know, where's your domicile, I, I call it sojourns, so, like, where do you sojourn? Um, you know, your social security number, uh, you know, the state you were born in, it asks about like your local IRS um, service center, you know, the asks for like the current um, IRS commissioner's name, and you know, the state and county where you got your affidavit notarized, you know, this kind of a thing. And then it basically what it does is it packages all that information and changes everything that needs to be changed inside of this document or these documents and then generates three um, like revocation of election documents, right? The letter of intent, it does the um, affidavit and then it does the uh, supple yeah, supplemental, um, oh, what do I wanna say? Yeah, supplemental evidence, yeah. And that's what I've been working on. And I got it done like literally probably like 10 minutes ago. Um, there's still some cleanup, but like as far as getting all of the like language into the app, it's all there. There's some other things I'm gonna go through and like verify and kind of clean up. There's some other, oh, it handles the, um, the gender, right? A man or a woman, like, you know, that way it changes like the he, his, you know, the he, she, his, hers, you know, that kind of a language, all of that man, woman, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited about that. And then um, the other part of that I'm excited about it is because, like, uh, uh, I need to package it up and get it to where it will run on multiple, like, platforms, right? So um, this will be my first kind of um, cross-platform application. So that'll be fun to uh, get going. And I've never done that before, so I've got to figure that out, too. So that way... It'll run on, you know, Windows and Mac, uh, and probably Linux. I'm sure it'll run fine on Linux. Uh, but yeah, so I'm excited for that. And then uh, once that's all done, then I'll just allow it. It'll be open source, you know, it'll come with a big fat caveat. Uh, it'll be like, use this at your own risk. This is an as-is product. Like, this is, there's no warranty with this. Like, I am not a lawyer, like none of that kind of stuff. So, um, and that goes with like, everything else that you see on my channels and or like you know if you find me on instagram or youtube or tiktok or whatever and you hear me talking about this stuff like i'm a guy trying things and that's just this is my journey and whatever you decide to do like that's going to be on you so um i'm going to put that caveat out there right now so anyway that's uh that's been consuming my time and it's been a fun project time has really flown by uh it's the kind of thing it's the kind of scratch that or itch I like to scratch, um, so it's been it's been fun. So I'm grateful for that, and uh, I'm excited to share that with people because I think, if nothing else, uh, it'll be a good educational tool. You know what I mean? Like um, uh, just to kind of show people the structure of things and also the evidence. You know, so they can go ahead and take a look into it themselves and uh, just make the information easier and more accessible is basically what it comes down to um so that's been the inspiration for uh for the videos or this video anyway um i'm trying to think if there's really anything else um at the moment um yeah I think that's really about it i do want to say i don't know if i mentioned it in a video or not it was a few days ago i was over um you know, just kind of changing some stuff out for the evening, and uh, Angela's husband came out, um, you know, because they have a couple of cats, and he's bringing the cats in, and um, that was actually the first time that he acknowledged me, you know, I said, hey, and he said, hey, back, and we exchanged just like a few sentences, but it was really cool. <laughs> I think it's really cool, because it's like, it's been a long time that they've been together, you know, no acknowledgement from this guy whatsoever. 
uh, until that night. And I'm like I said, I've been I'm just really grateful of how they have both been towards me, and it's a blessing. It's it's a true blessing. So um, that touched me. So I just want to acknowledge that too. That um, his just his energy and just the way that he has directly and indirectly contributed to, you know, benefiting me, you know, helping me out. So, um, so I want to publicly say thanks for that. So, uh, all right. That's what I got. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for journeying with me. Thanks for being with me. And, um, I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on. All right. I love you guys.